What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another one. Hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm having an awesome day because I'm down here in Texas right now. It's 55 degrees and sunny, so pretty good. Because of Cody's here, he's ready to rip. We're going out after some pigs right now. He's got a freaking 308 strapped up with a Pulsar thermal. Led through the pump house tonight, baby. He's gonna shoot one right in the pump house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for the cranium though. So my plan is to get up in an archery stand, which could be kind of intense because I'm gonna be about 20 to 25 yards from the, the feeder where these pigs are coming in. Gonna be a little death from above action. So my plan is to go out there and do that. Cody's gonna be in another blind trying to film himself. We'll see how well he does. I'm gonna see how well I can film myself up in an archery stand with a thermal and an AR, but that's the plan. So we'll see you guys out at the blind. See you guys. See ya, good luck. See ya. Good luck to you too, Cuzzo. We have made it up into the stand. This is what it's looking like. The feeder's about 20 yards right there. The wind's kind of blowing like this. Could be an interesting sit. It's supposed to get down to like 35 degrees tonight, so at some point in the night, I'm probably gonna move over to the other stand. I'll for sure stay here till dark and see how cold it gets. What's up, folks? We're headed out to the stand. Just got dropped off. It is hot out here. It's like 55 degrees, which for my ice fishing skin is hot. It's gonna go down tonight. I got a great feeling. Dane got his pig yesterday, so one more and the boys will have it done. Stay tuned. You won't be pissed. It's been about right, two hours now. The feeder went off 30 minutes ago. Right now we're just waiting. It'd be really cool if a pig came in. It would be so clear in the thermal at 20 yards. Insane. Maybe should have brought the shotgun and mounted the thermal on there. If you guys want to see me mount the thermal on the shotgun and shoot a coyote, let me know in the comments. But we're gonna just wait out here and chill until I get too cold. It's not terribly cold right now, but I think when the sun goes down, it's gonna get pretty chilly. Made it out to the stand. It's about 5:30 right now. I'm probably gonna sit until about one o'clock in the morning. So we got a lot of Tinder swiping, a lot of TikToks to watch until then. But uh, it's gonna go down tonight. I got a good feeling. The three away, it's gonna buck on a board tonight. Well, 15 minutes in and uh, I'm out of tinder swipes, so it's gonna be a long sit. So obviously I haven't had much luck with killing pigs yet, but I brought something with me that I think is gonna help the cause. Mountain of energy, power up. Death quiz beam down the friggin' edge. Eso es muy delicioso. Muy bien. It's 57 degrees right now, and it's 15 degrees in South Dakota, and I just texted Sierra. I said, I'm freezing. How about you? <laughs> She's just like, shut up. It is actually kind of getting cold up here. It feels colder than 57.
spooked and I I hope I made a good shot. I don't know. I don't know. I'm shaking, boys. Cody said he just shot a pig. Literally within seconds of when I shot. Cody, no way. Did you shoot one? Yeah. Did you hit it? I think so. If you hit it with the 308, it's gonna die. Did it run off? Yeah. Okay. How many were there? Uh, two big ones and some big ones. Dude, do, can you imagine that we both just shot within like 10 seconds yeah. of each other? Hey, did you shoot yours? Yeah, I just shot one. I shot her. So, okay. they were at the feeder and I was aiming and Dane shot. They all spooked. They ran back and I kind of rushed the shot because I didn't know if they were going to spook. Well, they ran out and then they came back. This is so crazy. This is so but crazy. If anything, it was a touchback. Okay, we say touchback, like a meeting a little far back. Yeah. Okay, on the body. Okay, we'll come get you and your pig. And then you go with us to go get Cody, okay? Okay, let's do that. All right, all right. So, Cody, sit tight. You got, you got another round in. Make sure I'm safe. Yep. More show up. Shoot another one. All right, sounds good. Okay, okay, we'll be there in a bit. All right, okay, bye. bye. Well, boys, we pinched. I had to. She almost ate all the corn. Maybe talk Matt into throwing this one on the smoker. I don't know. We'll see. See how much pulled pork we can bring home. What do you think, Cody? Oh, you're wearing the killing I sweatshirt. So I know. I hope you smoked her. I'm nervous, dude. I tried really hard to try and figure out how to get the footage, but I couldn't figure it out. In the scope? Yeah. Are you kidding? What? Are you kidding? How to watch it? To film it. No, I filmed it. Oh, okay. it's filmed. I was like, unload your gun, we'll jump in and drive up there. Yeah. Dude, I wish I would have known you had pigs, otherwise I went to shot right then. I had no, that pig there fine. for 10 minutes. Okay. I had that pig there for 10 minutes just waiting. I could have waited another minute. Well, fine. I hope. Dude. <laughs> I'm nervous, dude. Oh, wow. In front or behind the feet? So do you know which way it went? No, the camera, the, the oh, scope stopped. froze. Went and looked for Cody's pig. We reviewed the footage a lot, and we just don't have a definite answer of what happened. We thought maybe a bullet could have went low, but we looked at the footage. He was right on the pig, right where you need to shoot him when he pulled the trigger. So obviously something was messed up with either how the bullet flew in there or something. We're going to shoot the gun tomorrow and find out. but. We're getting this pig washed up. We're gonna get it quartered out and uh, we're gonna haul it back to South Dakota with us. So turn it into some brats and summer sausage next year. So that's on the bright side, we got one pig tonight, but we don't know what happened to the other one, so. We didn't do much explaining last night because the vibes were a little low after we couldn't find any evidence of blood or anything. We looked at the footage and it looked like I hit the pig. Um, it was standing right there and there's a dent in the feeder from the bullet, which I wasn't supposed to shoot the feeder. Whoops. You weren't? <laughs> Apparently not. But that's where right where the pig was standing in the video. If the bullet had not hit anything, it would have gone straight through the feeder. So it's a complete mystery as to what happened. We're not, we have no clue what happened. Pretty much right now, we're just out here. We're going to go look around in the light and see if we can't see any pig that's on the ground dead because we think it might be. So we're gonna go investigate. We got a couple guns with us. As you can see, I got a Glock on my hip and Cody has this single shot 410 for snakes and milfs to keep Matt bay. Hit me up. Okay, let's go investigate. I'm on a pretty cool little creek back in here. Imagine this POV, just a pig runs off. That'd be dope. It'd be a cool spot for a blind, I feel like, back in here. If you're just overlooking this draw. We looked for a, for a long time, um, thinking I hit it just not vitally. We were, we're not exactly sure what happened, but we gave it our best shot and we didn't find it, but that's part of hunting. So we're gonna go back out. So stay tuned for the next episode. These last two nights have been really good. Hopefully, Hopefully we both get one. So Hopefully. see you on the next episode, folks. Peace.